welcome back. And another Wednesday is here with us. We've got AM Business courtesy Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. Figures from the Ghana Export Promotion Authority show that Ghana's handicraft industry contributed a meager 0.5% to non-traditional exports in 2019. This poor statistic is the reason GEPA is scrambling to facelift the arts and crafts industry through the Sound Arts Premium Arts Exhibition this week. In today's edition of AM Business, Charles Aite ends his series on the prospects of the arts and crafts industry. With $2.5 billion up for grabs in an untapped arts and craft industry, talented Ghanaian artists are pulling their strides to make up for the losses suffered. I have come to the art gallery of Sami Bento, an artist whose work of art has massive demand in the West. For him, his choice to return home from the United States was the responsibility to facelift what he considers a crawling art and craft industry. The only thing is that I'm a Ghanaian, so there has to be a Ghanaian flavor, which I'm very, very, very much in love with. We do know that your art appeals so much to the diaspora. You've been in the United States for quite a while, and you're recently here in Ghana. The, the question, therefore, is why the choice to come back home when a chunk of your market is abroad? Home is where the, the real flavor is. <laughs> exactly. Um, 50 years ago, my father, who worked for the UN, relocated our whole family to New York. Okay. Once I landed in New York, I got a feeling that I've been there before, like a deja vu. I saw people who looked like us, mm -hmm. some who looked like close relatives. Mm -hmm. And um, the questions that people asked in those days, because many of our African-American brothers, people in the diaspora, have not been given the full story. You have to represent exactly. where you're coming from. But you know, one interesting part of your story is the fact that you've been in the States for quite a while mm -hmm. and you have established your business there for some specific reasons mm -hmm. so that you're more, much more exposed to the opportunities that come with the art and crafts abroad. But here in Ghana, we have a huge challenge. We, we've seen so many young entrepreneurs wanting to venture into the art and craft industry, but they have no clue how to commercialize it and how to appeal, not just to the diaspora, or the markets abroad, but also the local market. Um, we have to we have to re-establish or restore something that was in the in place before. Mm. First of all, there has to be quality. If you're going to sell something, let's sell good stuff. Now, f to produce good stuff, you need the right materials, mm. the right tools, and then train or sensitize the creative industry. Do you feel everyone is doing the same thing? Well, here's what's happening. Uh, somewhere down the line. Our progress to, uh, uh, our, what do you call, motion to progress has been, used to use that phrase, monkeyed with. Mm -hmm. You know, because over the last 35, let's say 40 years, there's been a shift in the emphasis of how we express ourselves artistically. Mm -hmm. There's a strong Western influence that is always hovering and insidiously, you know, trying to direct us in a certain way. These paintings you see on the walls are focused on dots. Sami Bento walks me through the uniqueness of his art. This painting, apart from the scene behind it, is an optical illusion. Oh, okay, yes. Now, I devised this because I noticed that people don't pay attention to paintings. They just walk by. Okay. So this painting is the ever-presence. You know, I call it ever-presence. Okay. Now, the ever-presence is that light is always here and light will pass through any opening. So these bars here are the bars of a prison cell and the light from our side is falling on the, the floor. The reflections yes. on the ground. So when the, the direction is showing where the light is coming from over there. So you are standing here. Yes. Now, you look, you see the lines are pointing to you. Come stand here. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that. Now, you walk across to the other end as you're walking, look at the lines. Okay. Go all the way to the end. All the way to the end. You see it's pointing to you? Yeah, it's still. <laughs> indeed, indeed, yeah. indeed, oh. indeed, 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 indeed. Mm -hmm. When you're far away, it looks like a sunk of a bird. But when you get close, you see it's a, it's a boat 
there are people in, you know, the multiple imagery. For me, I figured that if you want to get attention, don't let the painting be boring. Mm -hmm. Have something that will draw a person in, mm -hmm. like depth, you know, and all the, the images. And being a graphic designer, Ghana is well known for its creativity and rich culture regarding art and craft designs. These have penetrated the U.S. and other markets recently. However, there is a need for diversification and direct market access from the Ghanaian producers to the world market. So for artists of this nature, it takes dexterity and originality to break even in the global market. <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> Thank you very much. From the gallery of Sami Bentom, I've come to meet pensioner turned artist Kweku Jenfi. He was curious to venture into the arts considering its economic value. Well, I really don't have a degree for it, but I love it. Uh -huh. I'm always with the artist, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, when I was a kid, I started, you know, sketching and all that. I made a friend and he's also an artist. So the interest is there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And if you love something, uh, you know, and you're very passionate about it, that's when, you know, you go about it. And so all these kids out there, you know, people say, hey, you're talented and it's God's <laughs> gift. But man, trust me, you got to work at it. Uh -huh. Jimfi is part of several other artists who will showcase their talent in this week's Sound Out Premium Arts Exhibition by the Ghana Expo Promotion Authority. He is confident his strides will pay off. There's an art exhibition coming up called the Sound Out Premium Art Exhibition at the Conference Centre, Accra Conference Centre. I'll be on the 21st to 27th. And I want to make sure this black gold is in there, so I, you know, I represent the ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. See, this is the base of the whole thing. We're okay. trying to get in pasto effect, okay. you know. So we got the bold colors now. Okay. You're now going to go on top of it uh, with a thick paint. Okay. And, uh, uh, try it. Let me see so how you go. Even as I took my turn yeah, yeah, behind yeah, yeah. the canvas, Kuku Jemfi uh, explained to yes, me yes, the intricacies yes, of making yes, art what it is, yeah. appealing yeah. to the eyes. Yeah. The pasto effect. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a different technique altogether. Yeah. You know, when you're done and all the colors come together, yeah. it will be like the black gold, the one okay, that I... Okay, <laughs> the one that I told <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So we just I keep doing it this way, or yeah. I should just put yeah. it around? Uh, yeah, just put it around. Okay. <laughs> you see the thick uh, paint? Yeah, that's that's okay. what you, you, you want to... Uh, <laughs> if you continue, you yeah, become a professional. <laughs> Thank you. 
the handicraft industry in Ghana contributed just 0.46% to the 2018 non-traditional exports. That's a little above $12 million, but inched up to 0.5%, making $14 million in 2019. These are figures from the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, hopeful of improved numbers through promotional events such as the Sound Out Premium Arts Exhibition. I'm Charles Ayrty reporting for Joy Business. And a very big thank you to Charles IAT and, of course, Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank, for bringing us AM Business. In a little bit, we'll be talking about Habitat Fair, everything that you need to know about building and buying your own home. But before we do that, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back.